Hey! Okay, today I am making another soap for my January release and this one is lemon, thyme, uh, oregano and sorrel, like a wood sorrel. So, I'm going to be using a white base, surprise, surprise, with Pistachio mica from Mica Mora. Now this pistachio is a completely different colour pistachio to the last one I used for the last soap that I uploaded. Um, so yeah, this one is, it's this shade. It's like a, more like an olivey green. I love this. This is one of my favourite, favourite colours from Mica Mora. And then this one is sunshine yellow or sunflower yellow. So yeah, obviously it's yellow. And then in the on the top this time I'm going to sprinkle on some white sage which I've just sort of crushed in my fingers. This, it smells really gross. I don't know why people burn this in their houses. It smells like sweat. <laughs> but I want the sage on the top because I want this muted, nice, subtle colour just to go on the very top of this soap. So I'm going to fold in the tops on this one and then sprinkle this down the centre is the plan. We'll see if it all holds up and goes well. But uh, the fragrance and the, it's essential oils and fragrance again is absolutely, it's so, so good. This scent is so good. I'm really, 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 really loving the smell of this one. So I'm going to enjoy this and I have to snag a couple of bars for myself because it's going to be really, really nice. I hope as long as this fragrance holds up and doesn't cause me any issues. So what I'm going to do is the same as I did with the last one because I'm using my buckets again where the um, oils come right to the top. I'm going to mix it first and then come back and do my ladling into my two jugs for my colours. So bear with me. Okay, so I'm just going to ladle off again for this soap like I did with the last one. There's been some skateboarders out the front going up and down the street and uh, thankfully, well not thankfully, we love a skateboarder in this room but <laughs> they were really loud. You know that sound when they're slamming around, bouncing off benches and God knows what else down there. But I think they've probably gone and found a... Oh, hang on. Maybe I maybe spoke too soon. I think they might have gone and found a new spot. But I think I've just heard the trucks again. <laughs> My whole life, that's all I've ever heard. Skateboards. Skateboards, skateboards, skateboards. Okie doke. So, I'm just going to spoon the colours into my jugs. Yeah, I can still hear them little scallies. <laughs> okay. And I have my white mixed up as well. And then. To the side a sec and stir these in. We have to find something to watch tonight on the TV since it's New Year's Eve. This is the second soap I've made, like the last soap that went up, the last video, that was New Year's Eve too. So I'm just doing a little session today just to get some soaps made ready for my release. I need to come back in next week again and just finish off doing what I'm doing and what I've planned to do. So tonight we are cooking a curry and I don't know, find something to watch on TV, I guess. To escape. I got my dad Netflix for Christmas. I got him a voucher, so he's um, been watching The Crown. 
I told him to, I said he'd really love it, and he is. I rang him the day, I rang him on Christmas Day. I'd gone round on Christmas Eve, I rang him on Christmas Day just to see what he'd been watching. He said he got nine episodes in, nine episodes in on Christmas Eve and he'd go to bed till one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> It's really good. I did say, I told you it's really good. He said, it is really good. I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> it is. It's so good. I just need to get my moulds ready. Still using my cardboard inserts. I need to buy some more of these. I need to get another five. So I've got ten of them, which would be really handy. Okay, now fragrance needs to go in. So I'll put it behind me here. Oh lordy, this, oh my god, what is that? It smells a bit like, hmm, a little bit like, I don't know whether it was Verbena of Provence or something like that. A Jo Malone scent that I used to wear and it smells similar. It's almost similar to like, a, almost like lime basil mandarin. But, oh, this is so nice. This is so nice. Really that like those nice sort of rich lady scents, but very fresh and clean. Oh, this is really nice. Honestly, <laughs> it's lovely. It smells just like when you walk into a nice posh person's house. <laughs> you know, they've got a nice candle burning and it's got like a, just that lovely freshness. That's my dream, is to have my own house that smells like that. <laughs> I do try. <laughs> but yeah, this would make a really good home fragrance as well as soap. This is lovely. Absolutely lovely. Okay, stir those in. All right, now we're ready to pour. To pour. Easy does it. These should keep their colour as well. These are not fragrances that should discolour as there's no vanilla or vanillin in these at all. They're not sweet scents, they're more sort of herbal fresh scents. My kind of scents. These are like my sort of favourite sort of scents really. I've always been into fresh sort of smells. So, it's thickening up a little bit quicker than the last one. Let's get this in quick. Before we have to lose the plot. It's safe enough. Is thicker than the last. Okay. Oh yeah. Right, here come the skateboarders again. <laughs> Put that back there. Just quickly get a chopstick through that. Okay, give me that spoon. I have to just work a bit quicker than usual. Get that in there, get from the outside to the inside, and then I'll be able to do my sage in the middle. So, try and work a bit faster. Make a mess, make a mess. Oh, 
smoke it up. So, just going to do that little sprinkle of sage right through the middle. All is well. I managed. I managed without it going cray. Just starting to thicken up. It is. Um, I can feel the heat coming off it. So there's some something. Yeah, still very nice. Still very, very nice indeed. Here. Okay. Phew. I'll leave uh, some picks there so you can just see. But that looks nice, actually. That's a nice soap. Very, 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 very nice. I'm really, really pleased with this range I'm doing, you know. It's a lot of work when you have to bring out new things, paperwork-wise and things like that, but well worth it. Well worth it. So yeah, that looks lovely. Okay, I shall be back to cut it very shortly. Okay, I'm back to cut this ear soap. So, I think it looks really, really nice, actually. Look at that. It's kind of got that proper rustic sort of thing going on, hasn't it? I love this. This is right nice. Okay. Some of that sage is probably going to come off. edges sorted. I need to uh, put all these moulds into the dishwasher today. They need to wash. Sometimes I just sort of wipe them over because they don't need too much. I mean look, it's you know hardly anything but they do need to be washed. And normally I just wipe them down, use a wipe like a dental wipe and that be that. But today they need to really go and have a good old clean up. So I'll do that today. To get off some all these bits off the sides otherwise they just snap off anyway so the UK has officially left I mean it officially left anyway the EU so now I have to upload all of my files to the new United Kingdom cosmetics notification portal so I've got to sit and do that I've got three months to upload the ones I've already got that's fine and luckily I wasn't stupid every time I use the European one and I've got my files all downloaded onto my hard drive so I've already got all my info I've just got to sit and upload them all that's going to be fun <laughs> but it is what it is and we got to do what we got to do so if you want me, that's where I'll be for a while. <laughs> Do it. Oh god, this smells so good. Mm. Really does smell like a posh lady's house. <laughs> posh lady's house. Yeah, I should be uh, doing all my work on the portal. So, as well as making more soaps, I've got lots of soaps to make, but yeah, I need to get that done, which means just having a nice leisurely time at home, really, and sitting on the laptop, because I may as well do it at home rather than being here. Oh yes. Okay, so there's the end piece and the inside. I like this. I like the colours as well. There's, uh, that definitely matches the scent. And there's a little sage on the top and to the side. This is nice. Yeah, these, I like these kind of soaps. These um, just really kind of subtle and sort of like a country looking soap, if you get my meaning. Does that make sense? Just looks nice and it smells really, really good. Like when you walk into one of those homewares stores and you think, my house could never look like this. <laughs> but it could smell like it and it's got that kind of scent to it. Like just a really nice, rich, citrusy, lovely herbal blend. It's really, really good. 
I don't normally go on too much about scents. Well, I do when things smell good, but this smells really good. I do like this one a lot. So I've not actually got finalised names for these because these are new. Um, I've got to sort of um, come up with some that's going to match my little mini release that I'm doing. So I've got loads of things tucked into my phone. And I always, always have names ready, but it's just choosing which name to put with which soap. So, yeah, I shall see. I'm not sure what I'm going to call it yet. It's exciting. And it's very nice to be out of 2020. Not that anything's going to change yet, but I think it took us all off guard. And I think now that we're dealing with what it threw at us, it's kind of, it's still nice that the, the year, it, even it doesn't really make any difference, it kind of does in a, in a strange kind of way, doesn't it? To just be out of that hell that was 2020. Even though we know there's more to come. It's, it's kind of a weird feeling, really. But um, now we know what we're dealing with. It's not, probably not as bad. I mean, in the, you know, in the first instance when that all happened last year, I got me last year as any yesterday. Um, I think it was such a shock and such a hard thing for everybody to cope with. But we've come a long way already. And, you know, as is the case with things like this, that has happened in history, in our past, but not our past, but the past, things always change so nothing stays the same it's like there's so many naysayers out there it's like oh it'll be that'll be it now for good everybody be wearing masks forever and it's like give me a break nothing lasts forever everything is constantly changing that's what happens with the world everything changes so people that go around saying things like that it's just you depressive idiots don't do that to people, it's not nice. It's like we won't always have to wear a mask. We won't always have to live in a world where this exists, you know? It will end because everything always does. But people just love to uh, dwell on things. Well, some people, I'm not those people. I don't do that. I don't like to uh, bring the, feel, the feels down, you know? Try and bring them up, not down. <laughs> just when people do it to me I'm like oh I just have to block it out and just think I'm forever the optimist that's that's uh that's my trouble <laughs> I'd much rather be optimistic than be sort of um thinking oh it's all doom and everything's going to be terrible forevermore for the rest of our lives you know you can't go on like that you can't think like that you have to be positive you have to be positive because the alternative is that and who wants that is their existence you know so again, turn off the news, just abide by the rules that people are telling you you've got to do, but don't watch the news 24 hours a day, it's not going to do anybody any good. Go and find a nice book, take up a hobby, don't ever, ever, ever be down like that, it's just not worth it, it's not worth it. Life's better than that, life's better than the media, and life's better than the news, it just is. <laughs> Okay, so that's that soap. I'll leave a pick at the end for you. And uh, I will see you for the next lot. I don't know how many more I've got to do. It's either three or four, maybe, different batches for this release. So I'll be back at some point very soon. Ta-ta.